Hey everyone, hope we're all well. My hair's starting to get a bit longer, so I thought I would show you guys how to style the messy middle part, or curtains, or whatever you want to call it. This style's pretty easy, we're only going to be using two products. I am going to be using a hair dryer because my hair can be quite stubborn, but this is optional. Before I start the video, if you're interested in more hairstyling tutorials like this, consider hitting the subscribe button below. I have a pretty busy schedule with my business, but I try to post on here as much as I can. Also, all the products I will be using today will be linked in the description. Without further ado, let's just get into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to wet our hair. I already had a shower earlier, so I'm just going to put my head under the top here. I'm going to leave my hair damp so it's easier to style. Also, I'm after just putting my head under scalding water. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, that was very unpleasant, so let's get started styling. I'm going to take a comb. I have one like this. You can probably use anything. I'm just going to slick all my hair back. One way to imagine it is if there's like a focal point at the back of your head. I pick somewhere around here and you want to make sure all of your hair is going back toward that one focal point, even on the sides, everything. This is just to help the hair flow a bit better. And yeah, now our hair is fully slicked back. We can already see a bit of a middle part starting to form. So I'm just going to follow my natural part and just brush the hair to the sides. That's actually a bit off center. So what I'm going to do to adjust it is use the end of the comb every comb will have an end and you're just gonna split it there there we go much better the next step is to put in our pre-starter i'm gonna be using the sea salt spray from poseidon so i'm just gonna start putting it in all over my head and then making sure it's distributed evenly don't miss a spot even these little bits on the sides it's very important to get everywhere and i'm also scrunching while i'm doing this make sure the sea salt spray goes into the roots and not just the ends of my hair. And yeah, there we go. Next thing you're gonna do is take a little bit of grooming clay from Poseidon. And when I say a little bit, I literally just mean like that much, like a tiny bit. I'm gonna rub it into my fingers so you can't even see it on your hands anymore. And then same story, just make sure it's even all around your head and scrunch into the roots. And now your hair is ready to dry. Like I said, you can let it air dry, but I'm gonna be using the hair dryer. I'm gonna be using my brother's like 20 euro hair dryer to prove to you that it doesn't matter which hair dryer you have. Okay, if you have a diffuser attachment like this, you should definitely use it, but I know most people toned so we're just going to be using the hair dryer with no nozzle i'm going to be going medium heat medium speed all around my head just to actually dry off the hair i'm also going to try add some volume into the sides by blow drying upward and then at the end we're going to take off the heat and put it into place to make sure the front stays elevated i'm going to be blow drying straight back from back to front as well and of course adding a bit of volume to the sides as well by doing this Okay, now that my hair is fully dry, I'm gonna be using a little bit more grooming clay to give that hold last all day and add a bit more texture. So I'm gonna be using a little bit more than last time, but still not a crazy amount. Rubbing it into my hands again. And now I'm just going to scrunch all around. What you can do as well, if you want like individual hairs coming down, you just take a strip and twist it, twist some clay into it, just like that. And then it kind of falls on its own. And yeah, that's pretty much the final look. If you lads are interested in picking up any of the products I use in this video, I'll leave a link in the description. By supporting Poseidon products, you're allowing me to keep creating styling tutorials like this. So if you do choose to buy some, thank you so much. Anyway, that's all for today. Let me know what you think of the style in the comments and also let me know if you want me to do any more tutorials on other specific styles. But other than that, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time.